Hello, my name is Mary Dreemeyer. I teach at Sappenden Elementary School in St. Louis, Missouri. Um, we have been hybrid starting at the beginning of the year and then shortly after we moved to full in person. I'm going to tell you a little bit about how we sanitize and how we social distance. Every teacher in the building separates their class into smaller cohorts. We have six color cohorts and the maximum is four in each cohort. In the gym, I've taped out squares that match the color cohorts. It's a six by six foot square, and I'm fortunate enough to have enough space that I can separate each square six foot apart. They're in grids, for instance, this is green, and down the way we have yellow cohorts. I have tape laid out for when students line up to leave. They have assigned line spots according to their cohort and they're in the same order all the time. And we base their order of each cohort on different shapes. It goes triangle, you can't really see it, triangle, square, circle, and star. When I have to line students at one end of the gym, I have the cohorts laid out six foot apart um, because our school cannot easily separate each cohort, each person in the cohort by six feet. Um, if they're within the same cohort, they can be within six feet of each other. But if they're not in the same cohort, they're supposed to say six feet apart. When exiting the gym, I have a one-way sign and a black line to separate the two classes if they're crossing each other. And then when entering, I have a one-way sign here and a number spot so that they can line up in their line order. It is really important to be super organized uh, so that you can be efficient between each class. You will find that a lot of kids are not wearing proper fitting mask or their mask breaks. So I have within hand reach, I have children and adult mask. Also, this is provided by the custodian. You have to have an approved cleaner. You can't just come in with bleach, I believe. It depends on your school district. <laughs> So um, we just lay these bottles out and the custodian fills them every night if they need be or whenever they're needed to be filled. It's also important that you have some Ziploc bags because if kids have uh, reusable masks that they can't wear for PE for some reason, maybe it's not fitting properly, I just turn it inside out, I grab their mask and stick it inside the bag. I label it with a marker and uh, they can pick it up after class while they're wearing a disposable mask. We also have Clorox wipes. Um, this is really important for outside wearing a mask. People can't hear you as well, so you need some kind of way to amplify your voice. And we are sending less kids down to the nurse, so uh, we always have extra band-aids. And uh, really, really important is paper towels. Um, Students have to bring their own water because our water fountain is closed. So we have a lot of water spills during PE class. So it's real important you have paper towels handy as well. I use multiple black chairs to mark the mass break spots. Students are to take mass breaks when they're not near anyone else. And if a student needs a break during class, um, I assign them, I send them to uh, the black chairs. And I do move them around based on the activity. When going outside, I always bring this wagon with me. This uh, garden sprayer has the Terminex in it, and it's a really fast way to spray down the equipment. Um, I have a sprayer for spray paint so that I can designate where students are to be on the field so they stay separated. I have hand sanitizer. I have cones that I can mark each cohort into a certain area, and I have a towel if the uh, sanitizer has not dried enough yet. I'll just wipe it down with a towel. And of course an umbrella because you're outside a lot and it sometimes we have pop-up showers. If at all possible, please request a hand sanitizer station inside of your gym because um, we have our kids sanitized before and after PE so that we don't have to sanitize the individual equipment quite as much. Also, it will damage the wax on the floor so we just put little carpet squares below. I hope this helps everyone. And Good luck going back in person. It is not really as bad as you think. The kids are excited to be back. 
Um, they're really good about wearing their mask. And um, so good luck. Uh, if you have any questions, Anna can give you my contact information.